this bad board in front of me. This is part of a Magnavox TV set that, um, sorry, I'm looking at my monitor, making sure everything's working. This is the first time I've done this. Looks like it is, so, but it doesn't power on. Now, I recorded a bunch of stuff that I'm putting in the video that's going to YouTube, but I am figured I'm going to do this part and the rest of this stuff live. Why not? got to replace this little guy here. Now it's a SK28 diode. I had to order the stupid things from China. I got 10 of them here in case I screw up the first, you know, nine. Um, but yeah, it's shorted right across this diode. So, I mean, that's not cool. And if I put it in diode test, I get nothing there. And I get nothing there, like like the meter says. So, yeah, let's see what we can do about this. Um, here's the deal. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not an expert. I'm not a technician. I'm just a guy who likes to do this stuff. I might screw this TV up worse than it already is. I don't know. So, if you got some tips for me on how to do this stuff better, I'm all ears. Let me hear it. Um, I got to get some water for my... Uh, solder sponge. Hang on a sec. Let's load this thing up here with some water so the sponge can actually do some good. Watching a sponge soak up water is so cool. Okay, that's probably enough. Um, yeah. Okay, oh, ho, ho. let's see what we can do here. If I can zoom in anymore or not. Oh, hey, yeah, cool. All right, so. Any more than that, I don't think the camera will focus. Yeah, that's gross, isn't it? This looks like it should work now. I got to look up and see <laughs> which side goes where. Um, hold on a second. Negative electrode marked by vertical bar and PCB pad, the polarity, yada, yada, yada. Negative, okay, so that's all I need to know. Okay, good. Well, here we go, I guess. Uh, my fancy solder remover. Now I'll use the braid. It won't work that bad. Okay. Tip on there, huh? Come on now. the low melt out and try to do it that way because man <laughs> this tip is not delivering the proper amount of heat um da -da -da. tips let's put a fat one on there just for fun, right? Let's bag them to get that out of there. There's another little pointy. That's the one I was looking for yesterday, man. That one's too big. Yeah, we'll put that one on. 
which means now I got a thumb to pliers. See, I'm still recovering from my move. I don't know where a bunch of my stuff is. Um, yeah, it's about like that. Hold on, let me make sure we're still running. Yeah, okay. And I'm not gonna grab this thing with my fingers because that's really stupid because it's bleeding hot. Uh, let's just put it in the thing there. If it wasn't for the wire there, this would be a lot simpler, wouldn't it? Turn this back on. Come on. That's nice and tight. Okay. Now, get you warmed up again. Maybe even a little solder on the. And of course, I don't have that here. There it is. There's those pliers I was looking for. Ah, oh, ADHD life, man. Oh, yeah. Don't 10 year leads over the board. That's good advice. Oh, come on, please get hot. What's the deal here? There we go. Those don't need to be there anymore. crappy solder out just for laughs I guess all right let's see if we can get this thing to move now I'm not asking well I am maybe we need some more heat on the old iron too um some hardcore stuff making a mess in my area here come on eat it up we may have to go hotter Get the hot air out for this one. I don't think it wants to freaking move. Come on. Please. Well, that solder is like wicked. Um, the other roll. There it is. Way up here. Let's see if we can dab a little bit of this garbage on here. What is this? 60 40. Yeah, it's bog standard stuff, but it's nice and thick and doesn't mess around. There we go. Let's not burn my wire. That would be bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can make a little motor action happen here. Ah, quit jumping around. Okay. I even think I got the right, uh, yeah, we might have to hit this with the hot air gun. I can't, oh, wait a minute. There we go. I think she broke loose. Tried to. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, that little booger is gone. Not gonna focus for me. Come on. Well, oh, let's get another the light, maybe that'll help. Nope. Well, anyway. That's that. Now let's clean this up. Next time, get some wider braid. I have some, but it's garbage and barely works. Um, kind of like me. Huh? Da -da 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 -da. Where's the thing I just put down? Actually, it doesn't look too terrible bad here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, come on, brain. Don't fail me now. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so... I'm gonna guess that this big bar... Focus on the side of there indicates that's our polarity. Where's the new ones at? And these new guys happen to have markings on them. So as to not get confused. There we go. See that? Now if I can <laughs> get into these things without breaking anything. Alright, I have no idea if that's the same size or not. Let's find out. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, I did pretty good, except for the pads, but yeah, that might be a little tricky, but Let's see here. Get that out of there. Put this back in the frame. There you are. Oh man. Okay, so. Ooh, yeah, that might work. Come here, you. Yeah, that should work. As long as I get both of them down. This is a shot key diode that is in the power supply board here. All right, let me see if I can do this with my, yeah, 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 meter. Okay, whatever. Let's see how much damage I can do. Oh, 
Is it gonna work? Wow. Okay. Try this side then. Ah, it didn't stick. Damn. Well, I think it's on there. It ain't the best looking thing, but I think it's there. All right, let me get a close up look at it here. Yeah, no, that's crap. I got one side real good, but the other side is garbage. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not exactly the same part, but it is. All right, let's clean that up. I gotta get my IP. It's not over here. Um, where is it? Probably in the other room where I left it. I love it. that I was pulling that into. There it is right there. Okay. Don't need much. That's what she said. Let's try that again. Need more than that. That's also what she said, right? Ah, yeah, splash it right in your mouth. Ah, that's fun. All right. <laughs> Looks like garbage, but but it works. I bet it's not shorted. Let's find out. Because if it is, I got bigger problems. Cool. Okay, let me let's see if battle mode does anything. Well, it's got, let's see, zoom out here. Yeah. We got 2.2 on one that way, and, yep, I think that's good. Okay, well. Let me grab the rest of these parts. Grab the fuse. I got proper fuses this time. Um, yeah. When I get this video on up, on up on YouTube and you watch the part where I took it apart, I had a 5 amp fuse that was too big, so I jerry rigged it up. It's normally a 4 amp fuse, right? But I'm like, no, nah, I got a 5 amp. Put it in there. Boom! A nice bright explosion. That was great. It's just a fuse, though. So, all right, get this stuff all out of my way. Let's zoom back out here. Whoop. There we go. That's trash. Can turn the iron off. Let me get the rest of the parts here. Alright. So here is our TV. Get this all laced up. It's kind of awkward, but whatever. Hey, this. I gotta figure out which screws go into this now. This went this way. Yep. That little goober goes in there like that. This one I need to look at closer because. Ow! Just stuck that. Or, ow! In my arm. The old diode. Is there anything tricky about this connector, or is it just jam it in? Let's just jam it in, I guess. Ooh, no, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, there it goes. Cool. All right. I need the screws. Ah, oh, where's my magic screwdriver? And my magic screwdriver bit, which is not in my screwdriver. What the hell? Where are my foot? What the? Oh, man. 
you know, it used to be I could yell at somebody else. What did you do with my tools, right? No, this is all me. Where is the stupid standard bits for this? It says screaming like Gollum. Yeah. Well, let me see. No, there's no, that's too small. There we go. Is that the one I'm looking for? There it is. I'm going to say that these three silver ones are the ones I need. Why is there only three of them? Well, that's neat. And three screws and four holes. And I lost a screw somewhere. Of course I did. Oh, okay. This doesn't have an arrow. So maybe it is only three. I'd have to go back and look. I just realized I'm not actually recording this, am I? Well, I'll use this video. Um, hit record there, hit record here. Okay, so yeah, I'll be using that video for part of this. Anyway, since I'm a freaking idiot, I knew I was going to forget something. I didn't think I'd forget something quite that important, you know? That's the problem. Thread in there. Please. Now, like I said, I don't have a clue if that diode was the problem or if that was blown by something else. So, this is a handy little freaking tool, this little Denali screwdriver I got from Amazon. I'll link that somewhere. Huh. You know how it is. I mean, dang, right? You can adjust the torque. I don't need them torqued up real high. Let's try the other one. Or is that the battery? No, that's the torque. There we go. And it just stops when it gets there. I love it. All right, so that's all together. Get my lamp out of the way. Let's plug you in the old sink core. Now, the second I turn that on, I need a fuse first, don't I? I haven't even opened this box up yet. That's how new it is. This was 4 amp. 25 volt. Da, 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 da. 4 amp. 25 volt. This format. Let's just cram that down in there. All right. Handy little doodads. Okay. Let's plug it in. I don't think you can see my sync cord dial. Whoops. Sync cord dial there. Yeah, you're not gonna really either. But if it pegs out, you'll see it twing swing over here. Um Yeah, let's just do it. Here we go. Watch for the fuse to blow right here. Do it this way. Let me zoom in on the fuse just in case. We always love good fireworks show, right? Whoa! Camera crash. That wasn't uncalled for. What did I do? I just unplugged something else? No. This TV came unplugged. Ah! Like turned itself off unplugged. Well, one second. There's gotta be something going wrong, got it? Why? Why? Why are you like this? Come on. Ah! Twisting around so bad. There we go. Oh, wow. Come on. Ah. Gonna make me cry here. Come on, plug in. There. Now, did I lose power too? What's going on here? This is cool. What, I fix one TV and bust another? What the hell did I do? This is awesome, man. Uh, 
That switch is still on. What the hell? My monitor just... Oh, turn on. Well, this is fun. Did this cable get Jimmy? No. Huh. Yeah, okay. What the hell is going on here? very curious and I don't understand it. Uh, where's that one going? That's going down low. Did I accidentally unplug it down here? Ah, right here I'll bet you. Why is that plugged in all the way back there? Yeah, okay. I got to redo. Oh, oh, that's right. I can't lift those up. There we go. Now let's get you back on. Didn't we just leave this party? Okay. Oh, hey, I spilled my water everywhere too. Awesome. Yeah, this is pretty much how this whole thing is going to go. I'm sorry to have to tell you that. Um, this is a day in the life, man. Clean up my mess before it gets into the TV. Oh, hey, yeah, cool. <sighs> yeah, this is how I need Well, I got it fixed, but I water damaged the screen. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Balls. I swear sometimes, actually I swear all the time, I gotta get this bench cleaned up, like I said I've been moving, get a bunch of stuff here, get it put away, and then everything gets messed up because it's in the wrong place, whatever, okay, we're plugged in, we're out of the water, now you need to be able to see my, my meter here that's what that was about yeah 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 okay so let's yeah let's zoom in on that Oop, yeah we don't want you coming loose that's important the speaker almost fell out all right well let's zoom in on that okay I have one too many wires in here that I need to make longer apparently anybody watching this good because this is slightly embarrassing okay wow unbelievable now zoom down to the fuse which is right there Let's get this water out here before I freaking spill it again. oh my god okay my lamp needs some light glowing here now um there we go that's slightly better okay fuse is right here oh here we go power applied well nothing happened that's good nothing exploded zoom back out okay out i said now oh for crying out loud Ah, uh, yeah, I got a little bit of work to do rearranging, but okay, we did that. Let's get that out of the way. Well, you can see it. Okay, turn it on. I can't tell if there's little lights or nothing, but. Nothing's happening. Okay. That's interesting. Why is nothing happening? I don't know. Why is nothing happening? My fuse is still intact. I have 110 volts on it. The button on the bottom? No, that's it right there. That should be the button to turn it on. Yep, okay. 
we have no power. Okay, still. And we don't know why. That's the problem. No, get on those. Those are kind of clumsy, not gonna lie. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh! You know why we don't have any power? Because I didn't plug it back into the damn board yet. Um. Uh, yeah. This. Okay. Which goes through this little doodad in here with the uh, that. And that's off, right? Okay, now then. Let's zoom in on the fuse. And let's try this again. Three, two, one. Okay. Fuse blue anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So, let's get this board back out. Yeah, whatever meter. And see what the heck is going on because that should not have happened. Let's take this one out this time if we can. You know. Now this one came out, that's what we'll do. Okay. Alright. I'll bet it blew that diode again. That means I got more parts to find. Hot dang. I mean, I paid a whole dollar for these 10 diodes, so, you know, if it blows them apart, it's just time wasted now. Oh, meter. Oh, yeah. All right. Continuity mode. Well, it didn't short the diode this time. That's good. So that's something. All right, let's get this out of here again. Try not to drag everything onto the floor in the process. Okay. Let's check like this big old diode right here. No. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to poke around for shorts. Because uh, I don't have anything else to do right now. Uh, let's check all of these diodes and caps here. Something's... Where's ground at? Ground's going to be right here, yeah? No, it's not. Why not? All these boards are separated into sections. How nice. That must be ground, because that's a coupling cap. Oh, can't see it. Hello. Right. Huh. Okay. So where is ground on this board? There we go. Okay. But none of these are. That doesn't make any sense. was that? Oh, it's a piece of wire. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm going to poke around for short. Sorry if my head gets in the way here. Fast forward and play some pretty music. That is definitely not shorted. All right, anything around it, maybe? Transformer. Okay, shouldn't have all those legs shorted together, should it? 
Yeah, I guess it would if those are taps. Okay, so that's a section. This is a section. Ooh, there's a little bitty zero amp fuse. Up, oh, it's good. Okay. Everything around this. Hey. What was that? Okay. Uh, no, that's supposed to be okay. Okay, and what are you? Oh, <laughs> it's another little sh jumper wire. I love it. I hate that. Ah. Well, let's do this on top so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, what was that? That was this one right there. Right north of that capacitor. There's nothing there. I mean transistor. There's the wire. I'm pretty sure this is not a multi-layer board. Um, so what is this shorting right here? Or 672A. Okay, which is... Oh, never mind. It's this piece of wire again. Ah, oh, that's driving me nuts. There's got to be something shorted in this power supply. Let's see, let's follow the signal in here. It's not shorted at that. Uh, white neutral. Da -da 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 -da. Oh man. Sorry about that. Fuse is blown, right? Yeah, let me put a new fuse in and see what happens. Oh, well, we got 10 of these too, so gotta be careful. Alright, now. Okay. So, what's that? Oh, that's just mounting points. Got me. Gotcha. Yep, okay. So it's coming in on here. That's not shorted to each other. Oh, hello. Should that be shorted? I think one leg of a transistor should be shorted to ground, right? Or, not, but not two. <sighs> I gotta look this one up too, okay. Junction resistance, why do I test? That's dumb. Um, no voltage in the should be a high resistance. Now, well, okay, Mr. Meter, let's read your resistance because I don't know what I'm doing. Um ba -da -ba -da. mega ohms and dead short. 
And it's actually got two. Okay. Here's another one down here that's similar. Yeah, I wonder if this is gone. Um, because that should be a dead short, and it's not. Right? Okay, now that is. That is not 48 ohms. That should show more than 48 ohms. Um, well, not necessarily, I guess. Um, crap. <laughs> All right, so let's see. That says, make up your mind here, boss. Okay, 4.8 ohms that direction. And 48 ohms that direction. What? And that should still be mega ohms. Yep, okay. I think this little chip is not there. Um, this one's going to get longer then, isn't it? Um, let me see here. What do we got? If I can read it with that or not. Probably not. Ooh. Nope. Okay. It's this one right here. Zoom in far enough with the light on it. Well, maybe I can, but it won't focus. Focus. Whoa, this sucks. Okay. You shall not discover what this is made out of. Okay, let's just look at it. One D zero. So this is a diode. One D zero N sixty D one twenty two. I need to write that down. And of course, I don't have pen and paper. Yeah. I don't even remember what I just said. It's obviously a diode. 1D0 N60, I think. And it's got D, what did I say, 122? Yep, okay. And then it's got KHB on top? I don't know, okay. Alright, give me a second and see what comes up when I search for this. D zero N whoops no huh one D zero N sixty MOSFET transistor yep okay one amp six hundred volt well I gotta get the right package oh this is the right package right here you guys you can't see what I'm talking about can you Throw that up the top. Whoa. Um, yeah, here we go. Throw that up. Here we go. 1D0 N60 in channel MOSFET. K E C, not K H B, huh? This is the package I got right here. This D pack one K yeah, K okay, K H B one D0 N60 D. I guess the D 
on that D122 line makes a difference. Okay, so all right, that's interesting. So that that's quite probably yeah, probably our next problem. And of course, I don't have any of those. Where can a body get one? Let's check the Zon. Whoops, hold on. Put that back down below here. There we go. Um, ah! Anyway, I watched it anyway, so you know, whatever. Um, 1D0N60 Amazon. Yeah, that's not very encouraging. 1D0 and 60. Well, that's not very helpful. Huh. Well, let's try Alley here. Uh, let me put this back on top for you. Uh, one N zero, no, one D. Zero N sixty. There it is, right there. This little package right here. Got any other ones? In the correct package. Do, 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 do. Not that I see. Was that the right entity? KHB 1D0 10 pieces. Right there. A la 14 day shipping. Bippy bippy bip. up for y'all. So, that is the package though. That's not the right. Right there. That's basically the same thing. Except the number's different. KHB 1D. Yep, the number's different. D122. This one says 932. But it's the same thing. Okay. Uh, well, alright. Let's do this. No bother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not logged in. And I hate this part because I can never remember what my password for this is. <sighs> okay. Sign in via phone number. What's that do? I still don't know what my freaking password is, though. I don't have one password. Oh, I do have one password installed. Um, yeah, but you're not going to see it. Um, sorry. There we go. And now, sign in with email. My password is... That's great. Um, show all saved passwords. Express.us. Is that the correct password? Whoops. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, wait a minute. All right. There we go. Five dollars. So that should. Fourteen day shipping. Cool. No, no, it didn't. Oh, it gave fourteen day, but not free. Okay. Uh, ninety cents a piece. Yeah. What are you gonna do, right? Um. 
Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, well, I guess TV shut down for now. I'm going to get out. <laughs> what was I going to do next? Well, yeah, my CD player. That's right. Okay. Well, all right. Those are still recording. Sweet. Let's put the meter out the way. Let's put this there. I'll be back in a minute. Get that email. Make sure this order actually took. Why is this timing out so badly? I don't know. It's never done that. Da -da 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 okay. That's neat. Oh wow. Google's wow, cool man. Sweet. Okay, there's my order confirmation. So I guess I wait two weeks for these chips to come in and then see what else is going. Well, that's what you do, right? Early delivery update on my two three RCA. Clue spammers do not have a clue. Cool, it's working. All right. La, la, la. Okay. Noise. Anyway. All right. So the order tick. Let's put this stuff away. Back in the stack. screws that were in that. Okay. Alright, this up. Work more. I'll be back with my CD player. sticking out of my shelf. Okay, this might be a problem. This is... Hold on, let me get in here. Zoom back out. Alright, this is... I literally paid a dollar for this CD player from a local... or it was. They went out of business, unfortunately. It's too bad, but it was a local electronics recycler, whatever. A dollar. It was, you know, one of these don't have cartridge, can't test it things, right? So a dollar. Got the cartridge right here. Is it gonna work? I gotta go grab that. I gotta go grab a CD first. Hang on. some speakers or some way to verify that it's actually outputting that could be fun because what does this got for it's just got line out well I do have a set of amplified Bose speakers sitting down here so maybe that'll work cord here all right so first thing I'm gonna do crack open this maybe it's all, all taped all the way around thank you eBay seller for um, packaging your things decently. Much appreciated. Ah. Now this should be the correct cartridge for this. Yeah, okay. Oh, this meter. I hate that. But yeah, I know. I left it on. But, you know. Um, okay, so here's my cartridge. 
That's seen better days. It's pretty filthy, but eh, whatever, right? Looks like to all be there, etc. Well, here's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do, let's plug it in and see if we get any kind of light up on the screen at all or anything, anything. All right, so here's plugged in. It's polarized. That's nice. Here's the display. Get the lights out of the reflection. Turn it on. Ooh, there is a little bit of, you just, can you see that? See that? Hopefully this VFD is not that uh, wasted because that's not cool. Got a display though. I turn the power on. That turns it off. That turns it on. Okay. Is there a way to make that display brighter? Because, oh my God. I don't know why there's a little three sticker on the play button. I have no idea. Auto fader in and out. How do I do that? Play disc. Okay, so yeah, you can't see this because of the lights, but okay, see if I hit there we go. Play. I said if I hit play, see it says no disc. So let's see here. Program. Nope, that's delete, delete. Okay. Comp you PGM. I don't know. I'm just punching buttons here. Uh they're all doing something, so that's good. And it's still complaining about the disc. So, yeah, I don't know about this display. That's, I mean, if it's dark, it's okay, but man, that's dim. And I know these VFDs do kind of get weak over time, I think. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, yeah, okay, so let me... Standby. Okay, I go to power. Power on, off. No, that doesn't do anything. So there's no way to adjust that brightness. Oh, it's getting, actually, it's getting a little bit brighter. Maybe it just hasn't been run in a while or something. I don't know. It's kind of nasty, isn't it? No more nasty than me sticking my spit finger on it, right? Yeah, there's some scuffs on that. I paid a dollar. I'm not too worried about it. This is a pretty, or was a pretty decent CD player back in the day, I think. I mean, it's obsolete now, right? I mean, shoot, I just found all my old CDs, and I'm literally going to sell them all because I don't need them anymore. All right, so let's put a CD in. I have chosen Slayer. Oh, I forgot. This is the one that got stolen in my car uh, 25 years ago. That's right. I had this in the CD player, my 86 Grand Prix, and somebody broke in, busted the CD player out, and took it. And that's where that disc went. So, let me go get another disc, because this is empty. Cool. Testament, the new order. Disc is in really good shape, cool. All right, so let's see if I put that in like that. Put that like that, slide that in, I think. It just goes in the front, yeah. Okay. Track time. I see pause button, hit play. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I see, and you can see the little disc. What is it doing? Disc one. I want disc one like it can't find it or something it's like cycling through all of them look at this ah. okay there's number six 
Now it's going to cycle back to one. No, why not? Disc one. Huh. Okay, so maybe we do have a project after all. You can see it just says disc. Disc one. Nothing happens. It just says disc. Like it's empty. Okay, reject. Oh! Okay, well, it, you know, did it let it go? It started to let it go. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, something's not right. Ooh, ooh, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, that is getting a little bit brighter, isn't it? Okay, so that loaded. I heard a bunch of crap loading. Okay, so play. 101, but it's not starting. Yeah. I don't want to go to disk two. Why is it doing this? Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's just hit random play. I don't know if maybe it's cataloging all the disks or something and it can't read it. I don't know. I do have the manual for this, so I guess we need to look. Okay, and then it comes up with all zeros here. Okay. Let me hit random again. Huh. Disk one. Nothing. It just says disk, like there's not a disk in it. Okay, let's try ejecting this again. Let's try laying it flat. Oh, yeah, that works much better. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, the disk is in there. I'm hearing it. Let's try putting it in a different slot. Just try two. Let's go through the slots. Maybe one of these is going to work. We can rule it out to a mechanical issue, maybe. I don't know. All right. You see what's there? It's hard because it's kind of dim. It's, I think it's getting brighter, but I'm not sure. Okay. Now, see it? Look, you can't see. Uh, ah, it's going to be right in my face if I do that. There we go. Well, it, it loaded disk one. You can see which there's nothing there. What happens if I do disk two? Okay, it loaded disk two on the cartridge. It moved it out. Okay. And then it's going to three. There, it just went to three. Why did it do that? Disk two. I put it back. No, and that just goes to three again. Huh. Right. Well, let's see what this manual has to say about this. Let me eject this out. Yeah, it just chucks that right out when it's flat. Okay, good. So that's a thing that works. All right. Please give me my... Windows, I hate you so much. View icons every damn folder. I want to see icons. Come on. I hate Windows so much and I'm going to have to go back to it because my Macintosh, <laughs> my Macintosh is so fried. Oh wow, that's that's awesome. How about you just close the window? Oh my god. <sighs> Let's try that again. Um, View. 
large icons. Thank you. Now, oh, uh, which one are you? Da, 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 da. Well, I know I downloaded it. I remember seeing it. Uh, come on. My boombox one. Okay, where is it? Alright. Um, downloads. It's not in my downloads, so where did I put it? Um so confused. Where is my PDF of this file? Oh, what the hell. Yes, we're on, we're live, aren't we? This is just how it works. Um, manuals, did I maybe throw it in there? Uh, what is that model number? PDM43. Sort by name. Pioneer PDM 43. Okay, so it's I'm looking in the wrong folder. Ha! Huh, imagine that. Um, Manuel. This. So what was the name of it? Pioneer. Of course it's called Pioneer because it's a Pioneer. Why would it not be? Alright, let me... How do I want to open this file? Come on! How do you think I want to open this file? Come on, Acrobat. Brother. Let me get this screen on here. What is going on? Ah! Alfred. Mm. Adobe licensing crap. This is Adobe Reader. I don't want the writer. Oh my god. I don't want the writer. Why are you trying to make me open the writer? This is... Stop. This is still going, right? Yeah, okay. I think. Looks like it. My fair. Please set bitrate value less than 6,000 K. Okay, yeah, but I can't do that while I'm running, can I? Uh, bother. Do I not have Acrobat Reader on this? I just installed this hard drive here like two days ago, so I don't know what I have and don't have. What is going on? Why can I literally not do anything right now? The love of God. Um, is OBS blocking it? I wonder if OBS is blocking that. That's funny. Anyway, open with the Acrobat. I want Acrobat Reader because I don't want to edit this. Why is that not just part and parcel of Acrobat, the reader. I mean, really, Adobe? Really? That should be a thing. Good lord. Acrobat Pro. I don't care. I just want to read it. No, I don't want McAfee. can't believe they still do that, you know? Yes. Application already installed, it says. Well, then, okay, I guess. Oh, but I gotta sign out. Continue. Sign in. Where's my phone? Hey. I want to take the tour. I want to open 
the bloody file so I can bloody well read it. Thank you. Now, plus, plus, plus. No, I don't want to do that. Why are you making me do this? No, stop. Control plus. Thank you. All right, now let's whip this baby onto the screen. Here we go. There. Okay. So I should be like down in the corner there. Anyway, PDM 430. Huh. Okay. Um. So yeah, I don't suppose there's TOC on here, is there? No, of course not. That doesn't show me anything useful except for this 103, which is oh good, it's an entire assembly. That's awesome. Okay, la la la. Stopper. Since if you stick those for the legs. Okay, mechanism section. Oh, it does blow this, that up. Cool. Okay. So let's see here. Here we got some little motor. The, the motors look like, sound like they're working. It sounds like it's pulling the disc in and stuff because the little window shows that that slot is moved. Yeah, schematic diagram. Fun! Okay. Well, before I even, I, I'm, yeah, if nothing obvious is there, I'm going to have to like go and try to trace this stuff. Well, here's our circuit board. So. Anyway, um, we, I can't actually see that, so I don't know if it's actually on top or not. Um, anyway, let's see if we can get into this. Switch it off, unplug it. Always switch it off and unplug it when you're working on stuff. Okay, so we got two screws, one here, one here. I have nothing to put these screws into. <sighs> yeah, like always. Okay, I'll just make a little pile, I guess. Now, I gotta do the ones on the side. Ay, ay, ay. Open, come on, out. I don't want to go. There it goes. Note to self, the ones with the washer go on the side. Ah. your six screws for the top. <laughs> Good. Comes apart exactly. I hoped it would. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so. Let's look for anything obvious here. Except you guys can't see it because I have that on the top, don't I? Um, like an idiot. There. Okay. There's our insides. Now, pardon my head, but I'm going to stick my head in here for a minute and look. Well, I don't see any obvious problems. I don't see fuse anywhere, which is interesting. Well, that goes direct into a transformer. Wow. Boy, that cable, that ribbon cable almost doesn't look good. What is that? I wonder if somebody's been in this before. That, man. That's odd. Uh, as, you know, the thing. I don't know if I can get this all the way over here. Like I said, I may have to do some rearranging. Um, okay, hold on. 
Okay, my cable's all tangled up, and that one's not long enough. What was I trying to zoom in on? Okay, yeah, this little, all right. Here, check this ribbon cable out. Look at that. Whoa. It's got like a, a freaking, you can see right here. Let me get tweezers or something. This pen will work. Oh. Yeah. You can see right here. Looks like two parts where it's been scraped away and exposed in the trace. And there's almost like a little pot or something adjustable right there. What? Alright, zoom out. I said zoom out. There we go. Okay, yeah, so that's interesting. I can't say I've ever seen a cable like that before. But anyway, let's try this with it open and see if we can see what's going on. What you Stuff is not going where it's supposed to. Alright. Plug it in. And zoom down here. This way. So you can see what is happening. Alright, I have the disc in slot two. Let's insert the cartridge. Oh, hold on. Power it on first. That was interesting. Why did it do that? Current didn't spike on the meter, so I don't know. Okay, turn it on. Do I have a display? I do not. What's going on now? Now I don't have any display at all. And it's not powering on. Oh, uh, does this have some kind of safety on it? If the doesn't look like it does. That belt is in... Yeah, it moves with that, but why do I not have any power? It's plugged in, it's on, voltage output is at 117. Okay, no, it is on. This VFD is just completely shot. It takes a while to warm up and get even even marginally bright. So, okay. Insert the cartridge. Okay, it draws that all back. Okay. I can't see anything else, really. Flashlight. Where's my flashlight? Right. Of course it's gone. Um, yeah, of course. Let's see about... What it does when I hit play. Okay. There's the disc. Spins up. That's not moving. And then it spins down. Okay, and then it chucks it back out and goes to the next one. Okay. That's interesting. Shouldn't that be moving back and forth or something? No, that's going to be underneath it, isn't it, you idiot? Um, because it's got to look at the underside of the disc. Um, right? So where is that? Um. Oops, what did I just do? Let me check this. Watch this. This is. Oh, oh my. Boink! Oh, you couldn't see it. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. <coughs> so, where is the actual read head on this thing. It's underneath, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so underneath to where you can't see the mechanism. Okay. Of course it isn't. So if I wanted to take this out and operate it separately, what would I have to do? Um, that's neat, isn't it? Why is that in the, in the way? What is that? 
Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Dead cat in the frame. There we go. Okay. One screw there. One screw there. One screw there. And one screw there. Surely it can't just be those four screws, right? And then this whole thing. Well, see, then you got this goofy ribbon cable here. That looks like it's a custom job. Boy, and that little... I don't even know what that is. Huh. Well, I'm just looking at the board again to make sure there's no other obvious... Look at it from a different angle here. I'm hoping something just obvious will just show itself on a bit. Oh, look, there it is. You know, that would be nice. I don't see anything that could be suspect here. All the resistors and diodes and capacitors and things all look good. So, I don't know. Getting power, so I'm not worried about the power supply part. It's something I think it's something to do with this. So, um, yeah. Make sure there's like nothing in the bottom attached to that. No, okay. Well, I say that. Okay, that's for that. All right, I'm gonna have to get. Well, can't use the power one because these are tucked way down in there. I don't think. Maybe I can. That was weird. Like somebody honked their horn outside or something. Um, let's unplug this. What did I what did I just say? I said turn it off and unplug it, right? Follow my own advice. Now that one is like way down in there. Okay. know if that'll reach that. Yeah, that won't reach that. Um, where's my stupid long needle nose? Not here. That's where they are. I love it. Mm -hmm. Tweezers. Now, where's the other pair? I just, I just had a little bit ago. I just had a pair of tweezers in my damn hands. This is the life, man. There's a knife, there's the bent tweezers. Where are the straight ones that I was using? Oh, for God, I can't believe this. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I use those then because I don't know where my other ones went. Probably staring me right in the face and I can't see it. Um, okay. Can I get it from there? Maybe. Get it from here. This is the other problem when you start getting into like, ah, crap, let's not tear up that board. Um, 1980s era stuff is, a lot of it is just, man, like this. It's just, ah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this without messing this cable. Hmm. Well, on one hand, this cable should just pop right out. So let's, just yank all the wires. Ah, there we go. Okay. Cross my fingers and sacrifice to the CD player gods here that this doesn't break because. Okay, good. Whoo! Alright. That screw. I think I can grab that one. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, almost. Okay, there's that one. I don't know if I can get this one here or not. That's, I got, if I had find my stinking straight tweezers, I could get it. This is the, this is my, this is my life right here. I wonder if I took them out with I wonder if I took them out with that TV. Probably. It's probably exactly where they are. This side, put them there, no. 
I didn't put it in there, I didn't put it in there. I do not believe this. I have something sticky on my hands. Where did that come from? Boy, that's concerning, isn't it? When you're just working on something and all of a sudden you've got like something on your hands. What in the hell did that come from? Yeah, you're not supposed to put alcohol on your hands like that, but it gets sticky crap off real good. Um, I don't know where that sticky shit came from. But, are we free? Almost. Okay. God, what? I wonder if it, there's, yeah, there's like oil and shit inside of this case from like, oh yeah, that's where it's coming from is inside this. Oh God. I might have to go put some gloves on because it's like kind of gross. Um, yeah. No. Tell you where they are. They're probably wherever my damn little LED flashlight effed off to. That's where they are. Um, probably in exactly the same place too. There we go. Okay. Now we just lift up out of here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let me get this put aside. Unfortunately, I really don't know how I'm going to test this outside of here, but I can at least look up the bottom, make sure there's not like something broke or belt missing or something, right? Well, theoretically, anyway. Ah, and it's covered up by that. Okay. Boy, yeah, it's got like packing oil and crap in it. That's cool. So where exactly is my laser? It takes the, let me zoom in on this since we're down to this level here. Okay. Takes the disc in here, it moves it over to here. The laser has to go from the bottom, yeah? Yeah, there, yeah. No, that's the top. Okay, never mind. Okay, so yeah, it is in that top track. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, it is this doodad. Yeah, see, that should move. Okay. That should, should move. Okay, so it's not moving. That's good. Question is why? God, this thing is just, oh, it's like... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go put a thing of gloves on because this is kind of gross. Get this sticky shit all. I don't know if it's grease from the mechanism or what, but dang. Touch anything else, it's kind of disgusting. Don't worry, this will be over real soon. I'm just, I don't let that, don't give a crap that it's there. It's just when you go to touch something else and it gets all over your tools and all over everything else. And I hate it. Okay. Well, confirmed that this is, that's on a little floating thing there. That's nice. So that's got to move. Okay. I can I can kind of see down in through there, so God, yeah. Now it's all over my glasses, and I just touched. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Okay, that goes there. What what moves that? Is that this motor right here? Sorry, I'm getting off camera here, aren't I? Um. It's got to be this motor right here that's moving that. Uh gotta be there's no nothing else um yeah so all right what do we do then put it back in 
get that out of the way. Um, put it back in and maybe I can pop, maybe I can measure the voltage on going to the motor when it's supposed to be turning. You can make sure that it's actually turning, I guess. I don't know. I can't see the back side of that motor. Oh, wait. There it is. Aha. Uh -huh. Is that our problem? There's no belt. Oh, wait. There is a... Well. Yeah. Okay. Here's... I. Hold on. Let me poke in there with something pokey. Um... No, where's my straight pokey at? That's hook pokey. Where's straight pokey? Straight pokey. That's what I mean. So there's a little wheel right there. Turns. Is there a belt there? I cannot tell. Yeah, there's a belt there. Okay, so if this turns, it should be turning something else. Man, this is tight quarters. I cannot get in there to turn that by hand. Um, man. Okay, there's a little gear pulley looking thing that goes to here. Ah, uh, ow. Don't use your scrape pokers for this, kids. And itch my nose. Ah, there we go. Okay. You can see, uh, you can't see, that's the thing. I don't know if I can get in there. But, whoops, wrong way. Anybody remember wrong way Feldman? Or am I showing my age here? Where is this at? Okay, you can see right here we can get it in the light get in the light there's a little wheel right here that's connected to that motor there's a little tiny short belt that goes to another pulley and i'm trying to turn that pulley and see if anything if anything moves but i literally can't get in there to turn it yeah it's just grease from this mechanism that's getting everywhere okay there it is but can i turn it No. Why not? Oops. Get on the frame here. That might help. Um, man, I cannot. I can't even see in here. This is. This is nuts. Phillips, what the hell? I mean, that belt is still attached and it's still good. But if I turn, oh, there we go. Can I turn that wheel? I'm turning that wheel, I think, and nothing is happening. Well, okay, I'm going to take this thing off. If it doesn't work, I mean, if it doesn't work, I guess I'm out, I'm out. I can resell that cartridge for what I paid for it, probably. So let's take these floating chassis apart here. I would lose my own ass if it wasn't attached to me somehow. Ooh, wrong bit. That's a smaller bit. It's grease because now I can't even get the stinking bit out of my screwdriver because it's the grease. There. Saw the smaller one. Is that gonna work? Yeah, okay. Sure enough. Beautiful little tool. The best 40 bucks I ever spent, I think. 
Okay, now this should just come off, right? Let me get these screws out of here so I don't lose them. Okay, so yeah, there you can see what I'm talking about. What? Right? Oh my god, really? Come on. Here, there's the motor, there's the pulley. Goes to that little belt down inside of there. That should move this back and forth. It's on a little worm gear. Okay, that's cool. All right. Except nothing's happening. So, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break something here because that's how it works with me. I'll break it if I can. Give me some light without getting in the frame. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting old. I gotta take my glasses off to get up close. What of it? Okay, there's, yeah, you can see. The threads here on this, this is the worm gear. I thought that was a spring, okay. So if I rotate that inner wheel, wait, I wish you could see this because I can't show you this. That one turns, it's, no, it's turning that one, okay. that turning the wheel down there yeah okay the wheels turning but nothing is moving See if there's like another lock mechanism or something that would keep it from moving. I, I yeah, okay, okay, so what can you see here? Alright, so this This is the worm gear here, I think. Looks like it. It's turn yeah, let's see there's the grease inside of that. So that's what that is. That should freely Hmm. Yeah, interesting. It doesn't turn. That might have a lot to do with it. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Hello. I wonder if that was just stuck. Let me see here. Yeah, now it's moving. Okay. Sorry, I probably had my face in there, didn't I? Yeah. You can see that? You can see the wheel turning or the ge worm gear turning. Which way is it going? Okay, now it's moving out. Okay. That might have been it. That might have just been stuck. Um Alright, so let's put this back together now and watch this cable. Yike. Okay. Um goes like this. Right? Yeah. One there, one there, one there, one there. Okay. I wonder if... Get the light out of there. I wonder if that'll fix it. Let's find out. No, get in the hole. Come on. Alright. Yeah. You need some light, but I don't need it in the frame. All right. I 
work setting is it on? Okay, low, good. Don't really want to torque these down. Oh, hey, get in there. There we go. Just enough is all it needs to deal with this float. Oh, this floating chassis thing that this is on. Man. Okay, now get this off. The, let me zoom out. Oh god, I'm gonna clean my camera off because of this grease. Ah, yuck. Right. Okay. That should just set right back down in there. Yes, sir. I'm only going to put one of these, maybe two, screws back in. Because, eh, I don't care that much. Um, there we go. Boy, yeah, this thing is just full of oil. Oh, wait. I don't... I wonder if that's coming out of the transformer. No, never mind. No, that's like some kind of coating that all over everything. Oh wow, that's messed up. And then I lose a screw down inside. Of course I do. <sighs> Take it back out. Find my screw. There you are. Okay, there's got to be a decent way to do this. That falls. Oh, that falls there. Right, clunkety clack. Yep. Okay. One. I don't know where the other ones went. I have three. I should have four. What the hell? Okay, let's just put that one in there. Excellent. All right, that's connected. These should just connect up back to the room where they was. Yeah. Okay. And that. And this cable. like that okay well let's orient this back where how it was all right well sorry I missed you viewer I saw a two on there and now you're gone so sorry if you were expecting a shout out or something I mean, yeah I lost the screw I, I I don't know, man. Okay. Anyway. <sighs> Plugged in. It's not turned on. Now it is. God, that scared me. The meter went up, but that's the voltage, not the amps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see. It is on. Yep, it's on. You just can't see it. And it goes. Nothing happened. Play. Huh. Still not turning.
Well, that's interesting, isn't it? All right, so the motors, I can't even tell if it's turning or not. Um, I don't think it is. Uh, can you see this side of it? No, that motor's not even turning. That could have something to do with it too. Um, yeah. Why are you not turning? And yes, I realize it's turned on and open and everything. Um, doesn't want to move though, does it? It's Versus turning it this way. You can't even see what I'm doing because I'm a putz here. Um, okay. Trying to see if I can make this move from the top. I had it moving before. And now it doesn't want to move at all. I mean at all. Yeah, it's like stuck. Um, all right, let's, um, oh, yeah, yeah, I can't see if this wheel is moving or not. Okay, nothing happened there. Let's hit play and see if that wheel on that motor is turning. Can you, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's right here. <laughs> no, you can't because it's behind that little doodad. Uh, God, I don't think I can zoom down in there. I mean, it's like inside of that. Yeah, okay, well, Let's, let's hit play and find out if it moves. Hold on, which one's play? That one, all right? All right, so that motor's not even turning, okay. All right, that helps figure this out. Okay, so next. Let's eject. Okay, and shut it off. And unplug it. Safety first, right? Oh, God, this grease is freaking everywhere now. Ah, gross. Okay, so we know we are not getting that motor to turn. Okay. Um, right. Oops. In here you can see it. Okay. Because when I turn, this should move back and forth. So what we need to do is measure the... Voltage. No, first thing I'm going to do is take these thin gloves off and touch my mouse. I'll put them back on. Um, let me look at this here service manual. Uh, at any point, does it say what we should be seeing for voltage at that uh, motor? Uh, Multi mechanism assembly. Let me put this back up on top for y'all here, huh? So, right? Yeah, okay. Anyway, okay, so... Uh, let's see, switchboard assembly, this green and blue wire... Do you even have colors marked on this? No, of course not. Wow, that's helpful. So we've got green and blue wires going back to this connector right here. And they're right next to each other on the board. Okay, good. So CN202. That 
is this connector right here. Okay. Loading position magazine. Switchboard assembly. Really? Yeah, okay. Um... Huh. Carriage motor, service assembly. Okay, so that... Wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong one. Um, that's this one. Okay, carriage motor, spindle motor, and inside. Okay, spindle motor's fine because it's spinning. Carriage motor. PXM 1013. All right. <laughs> um, right. Assembly. Let's see here. Wow. Okay. Service motor assembly. Carriage motor. Okay. So one of those is. Oh, no. One of those is chest and crown, and one of those goes back to... Let me verify something. Meter, meter. Who's got my meter? There it is. Um, it's off. I want continuity. And then you guys can't see squat because of this here. Let me... Okay, so if I understand correctly, this blue wire, which goes down to here, should be ground. Yeah, okay. Wait, no. The outside one. Oh. So... Well, that would maybe explain a lot. If that switch is like stuck shut or something. But, okay, let's try, that's the blue, no, wait, which one's which? Okay, the blue wire is the outside one. That one should be ground. And it is, okay. I'm just, you know, anywhere and everywhere, right? Green wire should not be shorted to that because I'm on the blue wire and here's my green. That's a problem. Okay. Interesting. I'll turn that off this time so it doesn't bitch at me. All right, back to the service manual here. Uh, now. So let's see here. We have ah no <laughs> what ha what happened uh fit width okay let's zoom back in okay here. Um, all right, so here's our m carriage motor. Here's our ground bus. And there's pin five, which is the green wire. Wait a minute, now it says six. Six volts, maybe? I don't know. I ain't gonna measure nothing because it's shorted. Oh, hooray, and that goes to this, whatever this is, a pair of transformers. Okay, voltage. Yeah. 8.2 at C217, okay. Where 
is 217. There's 202, 110. Four, four. Where is 217 in a pair of transistors? That could very well be in a um, set package. <sighs> Where are you? Wait, hold on. What? What's the other? Q203 and Q204. Let's find those maybe. Q403, Q405, I wonder if that shit's like internal to this. Can't be. Okay, there's C207. There's C212. Okay, what was I looking for? C217. So there's 212. That's R212, not C212, dumbass. There's C214, there's nothing there. Um, you can't see what I'm looking at because I'm an idiot. Um, anyway, probably got my head stuck in here anyway. Yeah, a little bit. Um, there's C214, or where it would go. C, duh, C173, 167, C207. C202, C110, Q201. Okay, there's Q203, 204. Okay. Right? Yes, right here. Okay. It's right here. I mean, those look okay. It doesn't mean they are, but. And I cannot find this capacitor that they're talking about, 217. Be on the other side of this board, maybe? Is there stuff on the other side of the board? I don't think so. It just feels like solder joints. Oh. Uh. All right, pardon me while I find capacitor 217. I don't suppose there's like a legend here, is there? Fit width, um, no. Packing, okay, here is blow up drawing of this assembly. Now, the little motor that I'm looking at is this one part number 54 um yeah okay dc motor carriage pxm 1013 okay so let's see what that should have for a voltage i lost my pen that i just had nope there it is okay PXM1013. All right. Right. Here we go. Okay, cool. Um PXM1013. Oh, look at this. PHN is the same through most of the Pioneer line. Okay, so here we got M95. Cleaning this through. Attainable. Attainable before you set the audio board. Plus, you know, dirty carriage rail. Clean it and lube the steel rod. Gummed up in dirty carriage drive screw. Now, see, that's what I was talking about. Drive screw, the worm gear. Which I guess is technically not a worm gear. It's a drive screw. Yeah, because... Ah, never mind. Um, problem with the carriage motor and its belt. To replace it with good. Okay. Carbon deposits in spindle motor. and then Well, that could explain...
if it's like shorted internally in the motor because of the motor being stuck with like conductive crap huh yeah okay hmm so how would I deal with that um well let's service center I la 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 is that something you can even buy if, if it's fried I don't know I'm sure there's equivalents right PXM1013 nothing are you kidding me huh Wow Oh, here we go. No. Well. Huh. It looks like some of these could be substituted, maybe. 1 to 6 volt DC 130. 200. Huh. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's that's a task for a different time. Let's see what's wrong if I'm getting voltage across this motor at all. Um, plug in. Oh, meter, come back. I need you. There should only be six volts going across this meter, which there isn't going to be any because it's shorted out, right? Yeah, but I can... Well, no, I can't, because it's shorted. Uh, I'm going to measure it anyway. Um, uh, yeah, you can see that, I think. Uh, unless I put the page down. Um, there we go. So, if I got one on ground like such... Get in here. There we go. That should show zero. All right, let me continuityize that. Okay. Turn it on. It's going to show zero. Why do I have 65 minus? Well, there is a little bit of voltage on that motor. It's negative voltage, though. Millivolts, so that's, yeah, whatever. All right, where's my cartridge? Let's put that back in. Measure this voltage. Nope. <sighs> okay, play. Now, what happens? Does anything change? No, well, it tried to do something, didn't it? Yeah, it's trying to do something. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so... <laughs> Off, unplugged. Let's, um, I need to find that capacitor that's going to ground here. Let me go back to manual. You guys won't see it. Uh, that was capacitor 217. Why does it say 3316? Oh, because it's a big one. 33 microfarad, 16 volt. Ah ha ha ha. Okay. C2, there's 217 right there. Okay. Continuity. Well, it's not shorted. So there's that. Okay. 
but oh, damn I should be able to measure which side of that is ground then neither oh, that doesn't make sense okay so I need to measure that value okay plug it in turn it on there is zero volts across that capacitor okay now if I go play Nothing happens. Okay, that's interesting. Well, for one, that's not the output voltage to that motor. Um, six. Why does that have a six there? Um, That's not the wire I'm interested in. Uh, the wire I'm interested in is wire 5. Oh, and that goes all the way down here to 207. Okay. There's 207. I read this wrong. Haha. -ha. Is it 0.1? So that's going to be one of these. Okay, 207. Here's 202. Is that going to be one of, there's 212, R207, C207, okay. Um, which side is ground of that cap? Oh, well, it's not going to read that, is it? Because there's a resistor in between that and ground which is R207, which is right here. Yep, okay, so I should be, wait, what? Uh. Twenty four ohms. Seven. It doesn't give a value for it, does it? Um, no. Let's see here. Uh, oh, there's part numbers for the ICs and crap. Okay, that's good. What about just resistors and shit? Um... It's parts layout... M430, I see 301 pin 35 play mode. Doesn't say where that's going to. Oh wait, six, that's what this is. Okay, Q203 emitter. Okay, let me, let me, let me zoom in on that. Here, okay, so let's, let's show that.
Okay, so right there. If I hit play. Nothing happens. Why? Um, disc one? No, disc two. Play. It thinks it's empty. Okay, so let's pop it out, put it back in. Okay. But yeah, that, that pin is not moving any at all. Okay, let's play. Okay, there it went to, okay. I mean, it's high, but that's millivolts, so that, no, so it's low. There it's almost to point two. Oh, that's interesting, what just happened? Okay, I wonder if that short inside the motor is bringing it down. Um, That's gotta be inside the motor then, it has to be. Let me measure this cap for a short, just for fun. Derp. Oh, wait a minute. That cap is shorted. Is R207 shorted? There's C207, there's R207. Okay, R207 is not, well, yeah, it is, but. Okay, that's a resistor though, so. That shows a good zero across that resistor and that capacitor. Okay, I wonder if this chip is shorted internally. How would I find out? Um. <sighs> hmm. This little booger right here. Uh, bloody hell. Okay. I have got to get this lined out. It is not set up for streaming. Um, okay. Anyway, this Toshiba one right here. Um, let's just run across the pins and check those for shorts. Um, I'm guessing that big part is ground. No, I'm wrong. Really? No. Surely not. 201. Okay. Oh, damn it. Fit width. There. Um. Damn it. Capacitors, indicated capacity voltage I was noted. Dun, 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 dun. Signal route adjusting point. Okay. Surely there's going to be a pin out of IC201 on here somewhere, right? Maybe. Oh, this says, oh cool, this is supposed to have a remote control too. Well, that's neat, okay. Why are these backwards? Oh, because it fl just flipped it over, I got gotcha. you, okay. Connections, synchro. Yeah, look at that, it has a remote control. I didn't get the remote control with it because I paid a dollar for this player. All right, so let's see. I see 201. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see chips and pin outs. Um, uh, oh, yeah, excuse me. So there's I see 201. Is this 201? This big honkin' square? You, can, you don't even know what I'm talking about because I'm back to that.
in there. Um, yeah, it's that damned old chip right here. This TA. Now, okay, that's right. Yeah, the it's this TA. TA-449P, that's the one that I think is shorted. Um, let me check some of those pinouts again. Crap, did I just lose it? Oh wait, no, that's in Chrome, dipshit. Uh, there we go, okay, so the output terminal of one of, of wait, hold on, op amp four. Now I gotta get back to this. Um, here we go. Okay, so no, go this way. Here, right? Two oh seven. Here. Yep. Okay. So this is. I'm gonna flip you back. Let's see if I can zoom in some more here. Ooh, I wonder what that's about. What the little exclamation point is for show you here Then, yeah, okay, let's, I tried this, didn't I, and it didn't work. Um, pin four, shorter to ground, yep, okay. I think that chip is toast, because it's also shorted to that, which is then not shorted to that, but, but pin four is shorted to ground, okay. And that's the output. Um, yeah, which would which would short out. Whoops, okay, well, let's stop the stream.